The circumstances for Ugandan child survival are still not quite good. While actions of UNICEF's program of UNEPI caused substantial disease reduction from the early 90s, malaria has been persistent. The current prevalence stands at 43.2% countrywide. Pneumonia and diarrhea are a threat. Malaria, pneumonia and diarrhea. Those issues in children is below five years. That is a common disease. Poor nutrition, on the other hand, has continued to kill infants because of the declining family incomes and family food insecurity. A more serious situation connected to lack of child care is poor antenatal care services to mothers. This has come about due to lack of rural antenatal centers. In Uganda, World Vision remains quite focused in working with communities and local government and education service delivery institutions to bring change in the lives of rural Ugandans. It has begun a radio distance learning activity country, starting with Chiboga as a pilot area. The activity involves the sub-counties of Chibiga, Mulaji, Duaniro, and Mwanga. Uh, we have actually um, used um, the radio as an effective tool of learning, and um, also the mobile phones as a tool of monitoring and also uh, reporting. So our module or a radio program that has already been pre-established in a previous project funded by USAID, World Vision utilized these radio episodes to broadcast on a weekly basis. Going down to train VHTs maybe through workshops, we realized that it was going to be costly. So we innovated this model in a way that a radio episode is run and these VHTs listen. You know, so we bought radios uh, to, to VHTs, which VHTs normally listen in a group of five. The goal of radio distance learning is to contribute to reduction of malaria, pneumonia, and uh, diarrhea morbidity and uh, mortality among women and men, uh, boys and girls in Chiboga district communities by providing case management of malaria, pneumonia, and diarrhea through regular radio distance learning training for village health workers. Radio distance learning can be very, very useful in terms of improving on functionality of v VHTs across the country and making sure that uh, as VHTs leave and new ones come in, they actually have a quick access to the standard information that the Ministry of Health expects all of them to have in order for them to do their work effectively. It is for transferring knowledge in education about household child health through training the village health teams. And we do this through uh, contribute to increase the capacity of village health teams to deliver appropriate messaging and correctly manage uncomplicated cases of malaria through continuing education, refresher training, and transfer of knowledge on a regular basis in a cost-effective way using radio distance learning. These village health teams are trained and retrained through refresher courses to provide minimum health care packages to communities. As a team, VHTs collect information, refer it to hospitals, which are acted upon by professional health practitioners. And remember, some time ago, we could get like 20 children coming from different villages coming here for treatment. Then, since we go to those VHTs, totally now we are okay. Even the, you see, a day like today, I'm having two referrals. The doctor receives the VHT report sent with the patient and gives it diagnosis before making decision on treatment. If those people come, those very people, when they come here in OPD, with this referral form, during the triaging, we normally give them first priority. That's, that's how I can say. Because they are being referred from the village. The VHT continue collecting data on maternal and infant health from the community through interacting with the community members by receiving their messages and giving solutions through mobile phones. <laughs> They receive health-related questions set by the IT department and return answers to the questions. 
discuss about how a VHD could reach out to a mother and really take a look at primary health care um, issues that um, VHDs would work on during their household visits. Basically, we look at what you need to do and the consequences of you not doing it in a real play or drama scenario. It's the way we, we did it. And you will have voices of children, of elderly people in that whole thing, with a bit of amusing and some sense of humor in there uh, for you to feel that you're, you're actually in the community where this is happening. As a team, the VHT sit down and discuss the issues involved in the Obanywa radio episodes. During this episode, um, SMS will be sent to the VHTs to, to ask them questions about some learnings on during the episode and their response will actually identify whether they've learned or they are listening. There are episodes which have been focusing on how can you identify a child who has malaria, you know, and then how can you refer a child who has malaria. And also there are those which have really been focusing which medicine do you use to treat malaria which has been found in a child. In a similar way, the village health teams answer questions set in the Obanywa health booklet containing all episode references on community health cases management. In other words, learning what VHDs can do as they relate to the manifestation of each character in the radio episodes while managing health cases in the community. Era kati ebintu byetu bagamba babigendera ko nafe batwenyumirizam nga basawo babwe njagala nnyo ebiri mu obanywa kubanga byongera okumfulu omukugu mu busawo obwechalo teka teka yo banywa eno eyongedde obumu nokubaganyizanga wamwe ebirowozo mu ba PhD in the interaction the village health teams are discussing new developments in the healthcare delivery system. They are building the community how to create health demand and create supply in the area of health delivery services. We have been successful to pass messages to the communities through the VHTs. Sometimes the communities ask questions according to what they heard over the radio before even when the VHTs reach, reach their homes. As teams, they again meet with the VHT training officer in an interactive session to share community health problems and prospects in the day-to-day -day health community education. We gave them mobile phones. Every VHT must have this uh, Obanywa, Obanywa handbook. Obanywa is the key word for the program. So everyone, anyone talking about the radio distance learning program will be talking, will be saying Obanya to refer to radio distance learning. So every VHT has this handbook because the guiding handbook that enables them to read through the radio episode before it is broadcast and also to be able to read through during the radio broadcast so that they can uh, understand the program very, very well that is being broadcast at the moment. The village health teams in this process share data, learn the problems of the community, how to solve it and solution ways. The data shows that the Chiboga activity through VHT learning teams, disease prevalence among children of between zero to five years has reduced. Some of the findings that are coming out of our pilot in, in Chiboga is showing that in areas where we have um, applied radio distance learning, the skills of the village health teams are better. We are seeing that children uh, who are being treated in a timely manner for malaria, for example, has improved. And uh, we think that because of the coverage of radios generally in our communities, we think that this can be a very innovative way to give communities information about health what to do when they have a health problem and how to approach a health problem.